All right, so I made a homemade wastegate controller here for the 9665. The vacuum system was messing up and causing me all kinds of issues. So other than dealing with that, I just eliminated it. Put a mechanical spring-controlled wastegate controller on it. Just took a piece of J-rod, threaded J-rod, hooked it into my wastegate arm down there, and used the original vacuum pod, cut the top off the pod, Put a washer down in the bottom so the springs don't fall through. Body washer on top. So I'd thread a nut down on it to hold the tension I want. Back it up with another nut. Right now I've got it set to where it spikes at about 11 PSI and then backs off and levels off at 9 pounds. So now I originally did a different version of this. First time for using a piece of J-Rod I took the original controller. Let me see if I can set my phone. Uh, set the phone down here to hold this. Now I took the original controller piece. That's the original arm that hooked into the turbo, hooked into the wastegate controller on the turbo. That just had a C clip on it. I took that off and took the other off and cut the pot off. Now what I originally did. As I threaded the end of this and then drilled a hole in a small bolt so I could thread the bolt together and put the spring on that and use that. And then that held everything together and then just add, like I said, nut here and push that thread down and adjust spring pressure. Now I changed this because the original springs I had were not heavy enough. And if I want to sp change to a heavier spring or a lighter spring to change tension, the, this setup here was not good enough. You have to take it completely apart to do it. Whereas with the threaded J-Rod, you just take both nuts off, pull your spring off, drop a heavier spring on. Or with what I had to do because I'm cheap and didn't want to actually go buy any new springs. I just used springs I had laying around and ended up adding three springs together to get the tension that I wanted so that I would be able to make as much boost as I wanted without having the without having it the springs clenched way down to where I wouldn't have any where I wouldn't have full range of motion out of the wastegate. So I'm gonna start the truck up, let it warm up and then go out and drive and probably just show a clip of show what it spikes at and then what it's leveled at what it levels off at on the way I have it set right now all right trucks warmed up now cruising in fourth 180 water camp and video hopefully if I was halfway stable I wasn't paying attention to the phone I was paying attention to driving as you can hopefully see on the video it spikes about 11 pounds and levels off 9 to 10 pounds of boost that's plenty this truck's on this truck's completely stock no tuning no anything uh, okay so interview just using a threaded J bolt which I think was that was a 5 16 threaded rod I used on that and a couple of springs laying around that I had laying around in the garage worked wastegate controller works fine um, if you don't want it to look ugly like what I done there's actually plenty of options out there online if you're willing to spend a decent little bit of money on one you can buy some nice pretty anodized wastegate controllers and then you don't have to do any modification or fabricating of your own but if you don't want to buy a controller from someone else and you want to build your own not that hard I think actually I didn't end up spending anything on doing that myself because I had all of the parts on hand laying around in the garage and junk drawers <laughs> 